load up like double O, let's go. So there has been a recent trend within the hip hop community of disrespecting Jesus Christ. Netspin, there's a young rapper by the name of Netspin coming out right now. And this guy is hot within the youth SoundCloud jerk drill wave. And this guy, you may not have heard of him. In fact, a lot of my, a lot of my following may not have heard of this guy, but I've heard of him and I've heard of his music. Netspin is a really young, charismatic artist stepping out of the underground into the major scene now. And he's getting popular cosigns from Chicago rappers like Real Vert, Chief Keef, many others. And this is only the beginning for this kid, but he's rolling out an album by the name of, and forgive me for cursing, but Badass Effing Kid. And this album's coming out tonight. And the thing about this album is, a part of his album rollout is this guy is mocking the crucifixion of Jesus Christ while he's laying on speakers. This is very disrespectful. Look at this picture. Now, this is very disgusting of Nesman to do. Have, like, I don't know if you guys notice, but typically when people get big, they really do disrespect Jesus Christ. They really do, and they find passion within this. And I've seen Jesus Christ before, the Lord Jesus. Yes, I've seen the real face of Jesus Christ. And it offends me when people make fun of his sacrifice for their sins and my sins. Jesus Christ is nothing to be played with. This is the Lord of all of us. This is God. And Jesus Christ is God. And you got Nesbin right here at 16 years old, mocking a crucifixion and is getting A-OK'd by his, by his record label to be dropped in his album rollout. And it's honestly sickening. It is really disgusting, but there's not much to say to Nesbin. But Nesbin, repent of your sins and repent of what you just did. That's blasphemy. It makes me mad. And I'm going to tell you, he's not the only one to do this recently world day which was dave blunts and his confrontation with snoop dogg and if you haven't dave blunts is a somewhat probably 600 pound rapper who performed and he brought a lot of attention to juice world day due to what he said to snoop dogg and i'm not really getting in fact when they dropped albums after his death people were thinking they were blemishing his rap career and dropping all his scrap songs that he didn't want to drop and the non-good ones and throwing bad features on them but Juice World is a different case. This guy has been dead since like 2021, and he is still flourishing in the music industry. His rap empire is worth like $15 million. He has gained like $15 million since his passing. But Juice World just dropped a video on YouTube, and it was trending a few days ago. I seen it, and I should have made this video quicker. But in this video, Juice World was performing on stage, and I stopped it, and I and I looked at it in, in this music video, and he has Jesus Christ upside down on a cross. Look at this. Highly offended. Why would you, like, I don't know. And, this, and Juice World's dead, bro. He's dead. All this type of stuff right here, he's paying for in the grave. It is appointed to a man to die once, but after that, judgment. Juice World has been judged by the Lord Jesus Christ that he had right there on stage. The image of him portraying him upside down on a cross. Juice World was evil, and his music was evil, and God showed me that. He has Jesus Christ upside down in front of you. If you don't get offended by that, I don't know what to tell you. You can defend Juice World all you want to. Maybe he's your God, but he's dead. My God isn't dead. He's Jesus Christ. He's alive today. Juice World also, I noticed in the, the Dave Blunt scenario, under the comment section, how, you know, there's a giant symbol of... What I believe and what's obviously saying 666 spinning on the Jumbotron where Dave Blunts was speaking at and people are arguing this is just 999. No, if it was 999, those numbers would be reversed. The nine, the circles to the nine will be pointed out, not inward. Those are sixes. That's 666. The record label know what they were doing. Juice World represented 666. He says it was 999, but... With that type of logic, the whole occult, everything, satanic everything is upside down. The cross is upside down. You see, they put the cross upside down. All these famous artists wear upside down cross crosses. <clears throat> All these famous, famous artists wear upside down crosses. Okay, um, upside down symbolism is their thing. If you flip, if you flip nine 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 upside down, what is it? Six six six. End of the story. So Juice World represented 666. And Juice World is now around the total and total essence of 666. He's around the beast now. He's forever in hell for what he's done. 
Juice World killed himself. He overdosed. This is not the way to follow. Who knows where Netspin will be, but he's advertising drugs and he's advertising drug abuse. He may end up like Juice World. Maybe that's his idol. Hopefully not, but let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Load up like double O. It's time to go. Pray to Jesus Christ. There's a lot of stuff happening in the world right now, people. There's a lot of stuff happening. The rapture is about to happen. They're revealing aliens. That's going to make up for the sudden, the sudden abduction of the church. That's that's going to be the explanation on the news. So just know that's what they're preparing for. Yeah, pray to Christ, man. He's coming soon. I love you.